Kenowa, the African Thunder, is in the house. Hello and welcome to an exclusive Thunder News HD broadcast. My name is Kenowa, the African Thunder, and I'm here at the Vote Together Party Together. Vote party right over here at the Bethlehem Center. I'm here with an amazing woman who orchestrated it all. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Nori, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, Colonel Watt. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, thank you for having me. So I want to ask you, what exactly is this event and what did you hope to accomplish here? Uh, the biggest thing about the Vote Together, Party Together event is to make sure that when people come out to vote, they have an experience and not just the cumbersome idea of just voting. So after they vote for whatever candidate that, that they like, we are nonpartisan. After they vote for the candidate that they like, they can come in, in here, have some hot dogs, some popcorn, some snacks, some some sweets, uh, something to drink, play some games and hang out with us, and just kind of have a good vibe, a good feeling. And also, if a family is here and they have kids, they can send their kids in here while they vote, or they can show their kids how to vote and then come inside uh, and hang out with us. So we have live music, and we have just some really amazing partners that came together uh, to make this event happen. So I have to say a special thank you to Civic Nation, who said, hey, Nori, maybe we should throw a vote party. And I was like, OK, let me get in here and do it and make it happen. The Bethlehem Center again, the Chattanooga Zoo, you can register for tickets to the zoo, as well as VA Productions, Voluptuous Bell. Um, they're having a big pageant coming up at the end of this month, and they're giving away some packets uh, to go to the pageant. So it's been amazing. Uh, Kenawa, you know how you've been amazing with helping me and supplying me with UTC students to come and work and earn some intern uh, credit. And so it's been a wonderful event. So we just want people to be excited about voting. Like, our ancestors died to make this happen. They were beaten. They were hosed down. I mean, there were just people, powers that be, that didn't want to see this day happen. And we can, and it's a privilege, and it's a right. And we just want to make it a fun experience overall. And even if this vote party wasn't happening, you need to vote anyway. You need to vote anyway. But <laughs> now that we are creating atmosphere at, at the voting polls, I think that's important. And the Election Commission has been really gracious in allowing us uh, to make this happen for the community. So the community has been great. We've had a lot of people to come through. We're here until during the, the, the polls close. So we're going to be hanging out having a good time. Nice, nice. Well, that's great to hear, Nori. And I, I, of course, I, she touched on something I do want to reiterate. You all need to make sure you go vote because if you don't vote, you can't complain. But also in regards to that, do you think that this vote party, would this be uh, every, well, every, uh, well, and ever, whenever there's a voting, or a vote, voting polls, do you think this will be an everyday thing, every time thing? Well, see, that is the goal. So right now, there are case studies that have been done across the nation to see how vote parties are impacting turnout to polls. So we promote about two weeks in advance. We don't do a whole lot of um, promotion outside of social media and just canvassing the neighborhood, knocking on doors and letting uh, the youth and the, the, uh, the, the, votes, the voters know that we're here. So the goal is to really make sure that uh, people, like I said, have an experience and that they're impacted. And so the goal overall is to have this to happen every single time there's an election, municipal election, national election, uh, it doesn't matter, special election. We want people to uh, come to the polls and have an experience in a great fun environment. Um, so we do want to see this happen. So uh, Columbia University is doing a study. And so all of the information from here will be reported back to the professor that's running the story, as well as Civic Nation, which is a uh, 501c3 nonprofit organization that's um, making sure that this happens and, and picking out key individuals that really uh, are interested in galvanizing and, and exciting the community about something that we are doing anyway. This is something that we're already doing. This is nothing new. We're just adding a, a couple of, like layering on a couple of elements to make it even better. Nice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if the polls are just going off of Chattanooga, we can definitely experience and expect that this will be an every time occurrence because we do have a bunch of students here. We have kids here. We've had several people come in, come by, enjoy themselves with games and food, and they've definitely enjoyed the hot dogs as much as I have as well. That's so good. <laughs> Great job, Nori. We thank you so much, and I appreciate you coming on and, of course, interviewing with Thunder News HD. So any final words you want to give to the people and let them know is in regards to voting or in regards to this event? Yeah. 
I just want to encourage people, make sure you exercise your right to vote. It is your voice. It is your opportunity. It is your chance to be a part of what's happening in your own, in your own communities. A lot of people are so focused on the national vote, who's going to be president, but it really starts locally. Get out, volunteer, uh, become the change that you want to see in the world. So vote, but be active in your community. If there's, It starts with little things. If there's paper on the ground and you see it all over your community, get some friends together and go and clean up your community. And then get some friends together and come to the polls and vote. And then get some friends together and help other people in your neighborhood that may need some help. And then get some friends together and do it all over again. That's what you got to do. Absolutely. That couldn't have said it better. Great job, everyone. And, of course, big show shout out to Miss Nori Nori, y'all. And, of course, thank you all for tuning in to another exclusive broadcast with Thunder News HD. Drink good, sip slow, FOMO. Uh, then go out and go and get that money. Drink good, sip slow, FOMO. Swear that any got it in so throat. Okay, I'm live off in the moment. Why I MBO, the only name you need to know. See, I've been so...